Hello everyone, today we're back with the game Elf Explorer. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the UR Pokemon from the Limited Time Capsule event. These Pokemon are from Generation 8. Normally, the game's regular capsule only includes Pokemon from Gen 1 to Gen 6, so make sure to collect as many as you can to add to your collection. First up is the Pokemon Scentiscorch. Looking at its stats, this Pokemon is strong in attack, so you should focus on boosting its attack to make it as powerful as possible. For skills, you should choose the buff skill Coil, which increases attack, defense, and accuracy. For damage dealing skills, go with Crunch, Lunge, and Fire Lash. These moves deal high damage and reduce the opponent's defense. You can also replace Crunch with Smoke Screen to lower the opponent's accuracy, which I think is a pretty strong move. Overall, this Pokemon is decent, but I can't say how strong it is without knowing its ability. It also comes in R rank, so you can evolve it from an R Pokemon to UR. Next is the Pokemon Grimmsnarl. Yesterday, I did a 100 pull gacha and got it. Looking at its species stats, its attack is high, but its speed and defense are too low, so I don't rate it very highly. However, since I have it, I was able to check its ability and it has a priority in using status moves, or it can have an ability that steals the opponent's held item, allowing it to hold multiple items. If you have it, I suggest building its HP, defense, and special defense as much as possible. Now for the skills. You can use Flatter, which confuses the opponent and makes them lose focus, but it increases their special attack so only use it against Pokemon that don't rely on special attack moves, like Gyarados. You can also use Bulk Up, which boosts its attack and defense. For offensive skills, you can use Hammer Arm, but it will lower your own speed. Since this Pokemon already has low speed, it's not that important, as long as it deals high damage. Another option is False Surrender, which has high damage and always hits the target, even if your accuracy is lowered. In my opinion, this Pokemon isn't particularly strong at the moment, but in battles where everyone is maxed out, I think it could be fairly decent. Next is Duraludon. This Pokemon has average speed, very high special attack, and strong defense. You can use skills like Iron Defense to further boost its defense, Metal Sound to lower the opponent's special defense, and Hyper Beam to deal massive special damage, as this move has extremely high power. Alternatively, you can use Flash Cannon, which also deals high damage and has a chance to lower the target's attack. Another strategy is to use three buff skills, Iron Defense, Metal Sound, and Laser Focus, followed by Hyper Beam to finish off the opponent. Overall, this Pokemon is very strong, but if it faces a Pokemon that induces sleep, I think it will lose. However, if you're in need of a tank, this is an excellent tank Pokemon. Next is Dragapult. This Pokemon has extremely high speed and strong attack, so you should focus on boosting speed and attack. Its skills are also powerful. You can use Dragon Dance, similar to Gyarados, and three offensive moves. Assurance, which has a base power of 60, but doubles if the opponent has already taken damage, making it great to combine with entry hazards like Stealth Rock. Next is Dragon Darts, which has a base power of 50, but hits twice in one turn, so the total damage is effectively 100. Lastly, U-Turn allows you to switch Pokemon quickly if you're up against an unfavorable opponent while still dealing significant damage. In my opinion, this Pokemon is very strong and there are many combos that work well with it. Next is Zacian. It has very high speed and attack, and its defense is also strong, making it harder to take down. The recommended skills are, are Swords Dance to boost its attack by plus two, and Noble Roar to lower the opponent's attack and special attack, which helps reduce the damage you take. You can use Giga Impact to finish off the opponent's last Pokemon, although it can't move on the next turn, or use Close Combat for extremely high damage, but it lowers your defense. If you have high speed, you should use this move without worry. In my opinion, this Pokemon is very strong, so if you have it, give it a try, especially if you're at lower levels since it's harder to get and upgrade it at higher levels. Next is Zamazenta. This Pokemon has stats identical to the previous one, Zacian, so you can refer to the previous Pokemon for its review.
Next is Urshifu's Single Strike Style. This Pokemon has extremely high attack, so focus all your efforts on that stat. For skills, you can use Detect, which has priority and protects you from enemy attacks. Use Bulk Up to increase your attack. For damage dealing moves, you can use Close Combat and Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch deals high damage, has priority, and also causes non-attacking moves to fail, meaning sleep-inducing moves will fail if you use it. Overall, this is an incredibly strong Pokemon, and everyone should have it. I think it's the strongest so far, mainly because of this skill. Next is Zerud. Looking at its stats, it's not very strong overall, with attack being the highest stat. You can use three buffing skills and then finish with an attack using Power Whip. In my opinion, this Pokemon is a bit difficult to play. The basic strategy is to use Scary Face to lower the opponent's speed, then spam Synthesis and Growth until your attack is maxed out, and finally use Power Whip to attack. However, since Power Whip has only 85 accuracy, it's quite dependent on luck. Next is Regieleki. This Electric-type Pokemon has extremely high speed. You can use Thunder Wave to paralyze the opponent, although it has 90% accuracy. Additionally, use Magnet Rise to avoid Ground-type moves, as Ground-type moves deal extra damage to Electric types. Extreme Speed is useful for lowering the opponent's speed and has high damage. Explosion deals extremely high damage but causes Regieleki to faint, so use it wisely. In my opinion, this Pokemon is average. While its speed is very high, its skill set is relatively weak. Next is Redrago. This Pokemon has extremely high HP, average speed, and decent attack and special attack. With Dragon Dance, you should focus on boosting its attack. For damage dealing moves, you can use Crunch, Hammer Arm, and Explosion. Regidrago is quite decent with high HP, but low defense, making it relatively easy to faint. Therefore, it's important to use combos that help increase its HP. Its playstyle is similar to Gyarados, although Gyarados has better defense. The remaining Pokemon don't have anything particularly special, so, so I'll just show the skills you should choose. Thank you all for watching the video, and please subscribe to the channel to support me.